Hey, Scorpios, let's get into your messages. See what Spirit has to say. Messages for Scorpios. Messages for Scorpios. Empath, sensitive Scorpios. Okay. You could be dealing with an empath here, someone who is an empath like you. Okay. This could be just be you. Um, you're very sensitive right now, Scorpio. You can feel a lot of energies. You can feel what someone is feeling. Your sensitivity, your intuition is very heightened right now. Your spiritual gifts are very heightened. <coughs> mm. Okay. We have mother coming out in reverse. <coughs> so some of you... Ooh, my throat chakra. Somebody could be trying to block your throat chakra. Or they, This mother figure could have been trying to block your throat chakra in some sort of way, trying to suppress you or what you have to say some of you could be picking up on some sort of mother figure here you could be picking up some sort of energy about this mother figure in reverse mother this mother mother figure in reverse for me is the opposite of what like you know the empress the empress upright is somebody who's nurturing kind um a good a good mother very receptive full of love in reverse it's the opposite so a lot of you could have dealt with a mother figure who was i don't know why they're showing me eminem maybe that's a reference to your mother or how you grew up um maybe it was something similar like that maybe you grew up listening to a lot of eminem because you resonated with him and his situation in regards to his mother um But yeah, I just feel like you, you became, hmm. I feel like whatever, due, due to this mother's, like, for some of you, there was some sort of abuse is what I'm picking up. Due to this mother in reverse, you guys, this helped you tap into your empathetic, your empath uh, abilities here. I'm picking up some of you are mediums, okay? Like, you're very sensitive to energy as well. You could pick up on it very, very quickly, okay? We have you give me butterflies in reverse, a crush. So, you could be picking up on some sort of energy here. Like, okay, let's say... um. You know how when you get butterflies because you're excited and something good is happening? And you know when there's also that feeling where it feels like butterflies, but it doesn't feel like a good feeling? It feels more of like a, a sinking feeling? This is kind of what I'm picking up. You are picking up on some sort of... Like, you're ner like there's some sort of nervousness or something. Or anxiety. It doesn't feel like good butterflies. This mother figure does not give you butterflies and not, not in like a weird way. It's like, you know, when you see your mom, you get like this loving, warm feeling like, hey, mom, I don't feel like you get that with this mother. We have fast forward, move forward, next chapter, trying to move a situation quickly. So I feel like you're trying to fast forward your life. You're trying to move forward to the next chapter of your life. Some of you could be trying to move too quickly and where you haven't quite healed from this yet or healed from this mother. And we have you passed the test, but it came out in reverse. So there's something that you have not healed here yet when it comes to a mother figure, Scorpio. There's a test you haven't quite passed, right? You're trying to move quickly through this uh, healing process. And that's like spirit wants you to really heal from it so that you can move forward and not have to go back and repeat the test. One more for Scorpio. We have answer the phone. Jumped out upright and then it flipped over in reverse. For some of you, you know, rewind. Look at this. Yeah, you keep, it's like you keep rewinding things or going back to the past or it's like a repeat cycle of some sort. Like, there's a mother figure that maybe you don't have contact with or you don't get along with or something like that. Um, this mother figure could be trying to reach out to you. But it's like, 
You're not meant to answer the phone. You're not meant to reconnect. Let's get into tarot. Okay. Empath, sensitive. Why is this here for Scorpios? Temperance. Sagittarius energy caps in your chart. Scorpio, you are just... Some of you, like, I... Mm. You could be an earth angel. Okay, but it, you're just very sensitive to the divine. You can feel angels around you. You can feel angelic beings. Um, all types of spiritual beings. and like You can feel that, Scorpio. Some of you need uh, like like need to learn how to balance out this this empath ability, the sensitivity you feel. So um, it doesn't affect affect you or like kind of like a light switch. Turning it on and off is what it feels like. I mean, you may not be able to, but you can better protect your energy or your boundaries in some sort of way here, Scorpio. Okay, so. This mother in reverse. I feel like a lot of you are um, very forgiving. I think that's the thing here. You're very forgiving, especially when it comes to this mother figure. Yeah, page of wands. There's definitely a phone call coming in text message possibly but i feel like it's gonna come off very defensive tell me more about empath sensitive three of swords yeah scorpio i feel like things break your heart very easily whoever i'm talking to like you can just feel when someone doesn't like you or they're using you or whatever it is like you feel it deeply and there's something about this mother that the devil capricorn energy is toxic <laughs> something about this mother figure is toxic um and i feel like there is definitely a lot of betrayal or hurt and lies that you're still trying to heal from when it comes to this situation but you tend to forgive this mother let's see tell me about this mother here the scorpio four of wands this person could be getting this mother figure could be getting married or rushing to get married okay <clears throat> or they rushed to get married oh. four of wands tell me more about this mother in reverse king of swords this mother could have been very very strict growing up like this could have been a single mom who had to embody like um the ma a masculine energy right and this is the part scorpio where your your em your empath your emp your emp oh, i can't say it your empath abilities start kicking in because it's like you know what this what your mother went through right you know why she is the way she is this mother figure is someone who's completely detached from their <clears throat> Um, their emotions. This mother figure could be celebrating something. And leaving you out of it, Scorpio. Or they did this already. They, they, they This could have happened multiple times. All right. Where I feel like maybe there was times like... Um, parties celebrations weddings baby showers um any sort of event like family wise like i feel like there was a mother figure who cut you out of it who didn't invite you scorpio i feel like this pains you greatly and this is something you're still healing from 
this is someone very cold very cold um gemini libra aquarius energy this mother figure definitely embodies uh masculine energy they could have also gone through some sort of divorce They could have some sort of military background or they dealt with someone in the military or their parents could have some sort of military background Check, take it as a resonance four of pentacles this is someone who's very selfish especially when it comes to money um they hold grudges a lot and this mother figure could be holding some sort of grudge against you which is why they have cut you out of some sort of celebration here. Or past celebrations, parties, weddings, birthdays. This is somebody who holds on to grudges a lot, holds on to things for far too long. And Scorpio, you feel this deeply, man. This mother was supposed to nurture you, not be cold to you, not cut you off. They were supposed to embrace this sensitive energy of yours, these em empath abilities that you have. And instead, they iced you out. They didn't nurture you. They were very cold. They held back their love, their affection. They withheld it. And again, this could have been just something that, you know, because of their own upbringing, but no excuse. Everybody can do their healing to not traumatize the next generation, right? Tell me about you give me butterflies in reverse. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. Okay, one more. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. You're making someone nervous, Scorpio, is what this feels like. Somebody's watching you. And you're making them nervous. You're giving this... Okay, you're... Okay. The way... Interesting. Judgment just wanted to come out. Scorpio energy. The way... This is karma. This is... This is... Supposed to be happening. The way this mother figure made you feel, this mother figure gave you bad butterflies, that feeling of like anxiety, right? Not the good type of butterflies. I feel like you're making this mother figure feel this now and not purposely, not, um, you know, not on purpose. I feel like they're watching your growth, Scorpio. This person is nervous about What it is that you have built for yourself. Eight of Swords. This is a, a this mother figure wanted to keep you stuck. They wanted to keep you bound. And it's like they're nervous now that you are. That you have this abundance or you're stepping into abundance or a lot of money or something here. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Queen of Swords. I'm sorry, uh, the Knight of Swords. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Some sort of truth coming in. Queen of Pentacles. Scorpio, why do I get this energy like... You want to go in and just make things right with this mother figure, queen of pentacles. You just want to be a family. You just want to nurture. You want to give. And this person feels very defensive. Like they want to come at you and talk shit to you and put you in a place where you feel victimized. So 
tell me more about fast forward for Scorpio. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like um, some of you could be confused on how to move forward from this situation, how to heal. Like, maybe it's confusing as to, like, do I forgive my mother? Do I try to make things right with my mother? Do I move forward with trying to make things right? Or do I move forward by, by on my own in this lifetime? Also, trying to move a situation too quickly especially from in regards to to healing it may have put you in a position of confusion like i don't tell me more about this fast forward scorpio king of cups six of cups at the bottom yeah there's something from the past that keeps resurfacing because you haven't fully you haven't healed it Scorpio. Mm. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Six of Wands. Scorpio, I feel like once you sort out through the confusion, the emotional mess, okay... Um, that, you know, that you may be feeling because of, of this situation. Um, I feel like you, once you do that, once you sort through it, you're start, you're, you will start gaining more control, like control over your emotions and things like that. And being able to move forward successfully, but you have to do, you have to do the healing work here, Scorpio. You can't skip that, that step. I also feel like you have to, um, be honest with yourself, Scorpio. Nine of Pentacles wanting to move. I mean to move. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles wanting to come out. You could be wanting to move, Scorpio. But I feel like you're moving forward. This is how the Empress at the bottom. This is how you're moving forward, Scorpio. The Tower, the Five of Wands, the World. I'm getting another message. Some of you may want to fast forward your lives here to kind of show show your mom or this mother figure like, look, I'm successful. I did it. Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Six of, of Wands here. But I, I feel like that's just, um, again, not like your success is coming regardless, Scorpio. Your enemies will, like... <laughs> will watch God prepare your tables in front of them. Tell me about you passed the test in reverse. The Ten of Wands. So there may be a lesson here. Like, this is the final lesson, Scorpio. Like, are you gonna... Are you willing to carry these burdens again by putting yourself into a situation where you feel... Where somebody might be cursing you out, victimizing you, putting you putting you in a state where you feel stuck, bound. Tell me about you pass the test in reverse. I feel like you're about to pass the test, Scorpio. You're at the 10 already and you're pushing forward. This could, this may be your last test. I keep hearing that song, last dance, last dance. So this could be the last test here, Scorpio. You may have not passed the last one with the mother, with this mother. Maybe you let her back into your life. And it was like a, the same cycle, you know? Um, yeah, I feel like, yeah, 10 of cups at the bottom, Scorpio. This is the last test. You pass it, 10 of cups. You don't pass it. Ten of Wands. And you're going to have to, you know, do that healing process again. 
or you can just do the healing work do the do the shadow work heal and find your happiness scorpio because you're gonna find it 10 10 is here there's a cycle that's closing out that's it regardless you're gonna be happy scorpio regardless you're gonna be successful no matter who wants to sabotage you who wants to um one up you or win at all costs you're still gonna be happy and successful but do you want to go through another cycle which is thus going to create yet another obstacle to get to this Ten of Cups, right? Because now it's more healing or maybe more drama that you, you know, weren't dealing with before dealing, you know, being, dealing with this mother again. If this isn't your actual, like, by, like, your actual mother, this could be, like, your, your baby mama, you know, whatever. But take it as it resonates. Seven of Wands and the Page of Cups. Yeah, there's, I'm telling and I was going to clarify this with answer the phone. There's some sort of message coming in, but it's coming in very defensive. Somebody wants to fight Scorpio. Definitely someone from your past, from your childhood. It's either someone you share children with, Scorpio, or this is your actual mother or stepmother or something here. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like you guys could become defensive when you get this text, but answer the phone is in reverse. So it's like you're not meant to answer this phone call or answer this text message. It could even be like somebody leaving a voicemail, you know, saying some crazy shit. Tell me about answer the phone in reverse. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Scorpio, it's like putting your phone on D&D. &D. Do not disturb, okay? I feel like you're... If you allow whoever this is back into your, to your space, Scorpio... How can I say this? Like, don't disrupt your own peace and what you have built already, Scorpio, and the healing that you have already done by answering this phone caller or answering this text. I just don't feel like there's anything good that's going to come out of it. Tell me about answer the phone in reverse. Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody's expecting you to answer the phone here, Scorpio. Seven of Swords. But there's... The reason why this person is calling, it's really, there's a hidden motive. There's deception behind this. And I feel like, I feel like Scorpio, you know, you may feel this coming or you know this is coming. You're like expecting this out of this mother figure. Like, I feel like the phone is going to ring or there's going to be a text that comes in and you're going to look at it. You're like, yeah, I've, I've been expecting this text, but you just know it's full of shit. It's full of deception and lies. It's, exp it's been exposed to you. The truth has been exposed to you. You have the illumination, the clarity here, Scorpio. Or you're about to receive it. So we're about to answer the phone in reverse. Somebody could be this somebody could be calling you on private as well, Scorpio. Could be this mother figure. We have death flipping over Scorpio energy. Here you are. I feel like you're done. You're not answering anything, Scorpio, at all. You know somebody's trying to just bring in chaos, upheaval, a tower. Whoever this mother figure is, as you're sitting in your Empress energy, you're sitting upright. Mother in reverse, this person is sitting in the reverse. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I don't feel like you're answering the phone, Scorpio. Or you're being guided not to. You could end up blocking this person. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, let's get some advice about this situation for Scorpio. Ooh. Advice for my Scorpios in regards to this message. Got two cards here. Stranger Curiosity, number 53, and a Cosmic Womb, the Divine Feminine, Empress Energy, number 6. 
It could be a life path six. Your birthday could be November six. Um, the number six could just be significant. Also, the number 53, which breaks down to eight. You could be a life path eight. Your birthday could be on November 8th. Um, this mother could be 53. Um, okay, let's get into it. All right, number 53, stranger curiosity. I'm hearing curiosity killed the cat. So maybe that's what it is with this mom. Like maybe you're curious, like has she changed or has this person changed? And spirit's like, no. Are you like trying to learn a lesson again, Scorpio? No. Stranger, the other, moving, fa moving past fear of differences, curiosity, and acceptance. The stranger moves through the world in a shroud of darkness that often elicits fear, rejection, and uncertainty as the danger of the unknown defines its very presence. Yes, there is a veil of separation between you. Look closer and summon the courage to remain open to what you might find. You may be conditioned to look only for what mirrors what is safe and known to you, refusing to entertain any concept of other beyond something to fear. In order to broaden your world and your experience of it, you must refute the illusion that sa sameness is the only way. Nothing you expect externally matches up with the other, and you're challenged by your own inexperience, but don't miss this opportunity for learning. Something extraordinary is being offered to you now if you remain curious and teachable. Allow the newness to envelop you as you explore the possibilities. This is a departure from your expectations, but the stranger has come to invite you to dance to a new music, a new tempo, a new sensation that will add more dimension to you and what you create as a result. Now is the time to leave room for other points of view, other ways of seeing with humility and grace. So maybe this is you kind of, you know, seeing what this mother figure went through. But this is a, defi a defining moment. Take the risk. Life is like a precious diamond with many facets, not just one. And tell me about, let's read Cosmic Womb. Creativity, the Divine Feminine. The cosmic womb is a reminder that you're undergoing a beautiful process of birthing a new self into being. You don't know who or what it is yet, but you know it's full of life and love and passion and spirit. It's the perfect expression of you, imbued with love incarnate and ignited by the vital spark received from the divine. If you have had a difficult time in recent memory, feeling dry and stagnant or lost and unsupported, this is changing right now. You will feel newly inspired as so many ideas beckon for your attention. Know that you're safe to explore the expression of your rejuvenated creativity, releasing all judgment as your curiosity is piqued. <laughs> you're in the most fertile cycle of your life right now. Intuitively keen, with heart wide open, mindful that each step in the direction of your dreams and desires is effortlessly supported by all the divine helpers in the unseen realms. So I feel like there's a need to not be curious with the the things that you have already experienced scorpio i'm getting that uh that's saying what is the definition of insanity um insanity is when you keep doing the same thing expecting different results and it's like you know you're not going to get a different result with this mother but um, there is this opportunity for you to step into this new energy and heal and move forward. Scorpio. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, share if this resonated. Until next time, bye.